the last thing I'd, uh, I'd like to visit for a moment are some proposed re regulation changes in the internal use software arena that I think have the potential of bleeding an awful lot of the historic controversy out of the R&E area, at least in, as it applies to internal use software. Specifically, what the new regs do is provide that software that's created by a company to facilitate either the initiation of a transaction or ongoing interaction between the company and their clients, co company and their customers, uh, that now is likely to be accepted from the definition of internal use software, thereby meaning that the additional tests that were often at the heart of the historical controversy no longer will apply. And so if you look at that, um, one glaring example of the regulations is it explicitly says that this, the, the mobile banking types of interactions that historically have been thought to be internal use software no longer will be so considered. And if you take that and extrapolate it to other industries that are making substantial investments in the software that, that, uh, that mitigates the interaction between them and their customers and their clients, this is likely to be a very well-received uh, change in regulation and one that could well uh, drop, drop the temperature considerably on some of the R&E controversies we've seen in the past. So these are just a couple of things that I think are of note. I appreciate the opportunity to share them with you.